Hi Leos, welcome to your love reading for the month of March. Uh, we're going to see what is going on, what do you need to know, we're going to get you some advice, all that good stuff. So if you are returning, thank you for returning. If you are a new uh, subscriber or a new viewer, I appreciate you uh, for tuning into the video. So let's see what's going on for my Leos in the month of March when it comes to love, romance. Okay, this is intended to be a love reading, but it does not have to. It may show up as a job or your friends, your family, somebody's energy may show up. It does not have to be a love reading, but that is the intended uh, reason for this video. Okay, one more shuffle for my Leo's in love. Okay. All right, what's surrounding your love life? Okay, so the Four of Cups. This gives me like boredom, uninspired, something's not stimulating you. This could also represent like you feeling like you have missed opportunities, okay? Or like the opportunities that you want aren't being presented to you or they've come and gone, something like that. A lot of, of re this could also give you like remorse, regret, regretful energy as well. <sighs> All right, let's see. What does Leo need to know for the month of March when it comes to love and romance? Okay. So you have the world card in the reverse as well as the four of wands. Okay, okay, okay. Um, so the world in reverse represents a lack of vision or something being stagnant. Like it's the cycle is not, um, coming to a close or not coming to completion. It's kind of like, um, maybe nothing's really happening. There is no movement forward. Um, it's almost like something is ongoing but it's not in a positive it's not a positive ongoing it's just going and it's it's not ending okay so and then you have the four of wands which represents this stable relationship very solid soulmate twin flame energy the four of wands um something very celebratory could represent a, a wedding this often represents the home life as well so we'll clarify all of these not all of these, the two of the, the, two, the two of these cards. Why does that sound wrong? The two of these, both of these. And uh, see what's here for you. Um, please clarify the world card in reverse. The Hierophant. So maybe the relationship that you're in, some marriage or a commitment is just kind of stagnant and maybe you don't really have a vision for it it's like what do we what do i do with this relationship um like maybe it's gone cold you know here i found this is taurus energy by the way why the hair font the magician in the reverse would i mean yeah i feel like you don't know what to do because the magician upright knows exactly what to do or he's going to pull everything out of his hat to try to make something work but in the reverse i'm feeling like there's a lack of like yeah like a lack of vision like uh, like no confidence in what you have the tools that you have okay there seems to be a lack of imagination like you can't you know, like, yeah, like you have no vision for this relationship, this marriage. That's kind of sad, right? That's pretty sad. Um, clarify this for wands. Clarify this four of wands. The devil. Okay. So perhaps the relationship, um, although very stable like it's a stable relationship i don't get that it's um all over the place i just feel like it's not really going anywhere but stability could represent just you know routine um 
you know, repetitive. You know what to expect. It's pretty, uh, what's the word? Um, predictable, okay? But with the devil card here, there could be some... Um, I don't know if you, you feel bound to this relationship. And oftentimes, if this is like a marriage or something, you like you feel like you can't get out of it. Like there's a hold here on you. Like a ball and chain. Like it's stuck. Because the devil card can represent like stuck energy. Why the devil card? Okay. The queen of swords. Um... Aquarius, Libra, Gemini. Why do I feel like this represents like someone going cold as well? Like I'm getting a very like cold energy. Like it's frozen. Like we can't move. Which is, you know, the opposite of the devil. Pun, no pun intended. But like it's like, you know. Hmm. What's the energy of the four of wands? So here's a three of pentacles. This is um because the three of pentacles is like team effort, cooperation, collaboration. Um maybe that's not happening. Maybe there's a desire here. Uh why the three of pentacles? Why did that come out? Whoa. Okay, let me ask again because a bunch of cards come, came out. Why did the Three of Pentacles come out? Oh my God. So the Ace, okay, so the Ace of Wands reverse with the Hermit. So there's really no desire here to even put in the effort to work on it, to collaborate. Like, I feel like someone just doesn't even want to do anything. Yeah, Ace of Wands in the reverse. It's like no passion. No creative ideas. No ideas. Like, I'm just, yeah, I'm getting no vision. It just feels like ice, cold relationship. What's the energy of the world in reverse? Very stagnant, just not moving, not growing, not doing anything. Three of Cups. This is like getting together even, seeing each other, spending time together, um, uniting, come, you know, it's like, it's not happening. There's a stagnation here. Why the three of cups? I'm also getting like this, um, like halfway doing some, 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 this is going to resonate for some people, but like half-assing it, right? Like someone's not giving 100 why the three of cups maybe it could be both of you it could be both of you why the three of cups yeah and that hermit i didn't even mention the hermit but the hermit is very withdrawn it's like someone spending time alone why the three of cups The three of wands, okay, looking forward to something, waiting for something. Maybe you're waiting to get together with this person or see them or something like that. Why the three of wands? But the world is in reverse. <laughs> Look, you guys, oh my God. Sometimes tarot just amazes me. The three, I'm sorry, the want, the, the, it's like you're waiting for something to come in, but the world in reverse again, because the world is in reverse here. And it came out again. It just tells me this is so stagnant. Like it's not coming. Like you're waiting for something that's not coming around. So let's see. What's the, what is the issue here? Like what's the obstacle? Because it's just nothing's happening. And I feel like maybe you don't even really know what to do with it either. Maybe your partner doesn't. Maybe somebody doesn't want to. All right, what is the obstacle here for Leo regarding this relationship? What is the obstacle? Oh, the strength. That's you. That is your card. I mean, the, I mean, when the strength shows up, it just represents 
if this is an obstacle, it's just like not having determination or courage or um, strength taming a, to, to tame a situation, to get it in control. Um, dang, Leo. Why the strength card? The seven of pentacles in reverse. And maybe you're kind of becoming aware of this. You know, like you're awakening to the truth, okay? Um, like if you were kind of unaware, I feel like you're becoming aware of this. Or maybe that is the obstacle is that you're not aware of it. But maybe, I feel like maybe you are. Let's see, why the seven of pentacles reverse? We have the nine of cups. Yeah, I feel like the obstacle has been you having some sort of determination or mm, something like that. But I feel like you're waking up to it. Maybe now you know what you want. You 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 understand like what your hopes and wishes are. What's the energy of the strength card? The lovers. I don't know. I'm just getting. It's almost like someone, oh, the Ten of Pentacles, it, it, this is a long-term relationship. And I feel like someone does not have, I don't know, I'm getting like this weakness. You know what I mean? Like maybe you don't stand up for it. Like there's a lack of control here with the strength card being the obstacle. Okay. And I feel like you love this person. Like you guys have a strong relationship and maybe it's been very um, stable for a long time. Like it's kind of been this way. What's the energy of the seven of pentacles reverse? But the ten of swords, like, I, okay. So I feel like you are awakening to um, maybe your, it's like you're awakening to, Either the, like something is ending or it needs to end, um, or like I'm getting like a like it's like it, there's defeat here, like it's failed. It's a failing relationship. Clarify the nine. I'm sorry, what is the energy of the nine of cups? The five of swords. It's almost like you want to throw in the towel. Is that what you want? Because this is like a wish fulfillment with the five of swords. It's like you want to be defeated. Like you, like you want this to end. Maybe, I mean, I get that. If there's no effort being put into something, then you don't want it, right? If I'm not actively trying to make something work, then it's, it's safe to assume I don't want it to work. I don't want to participate. I don't want to do any of that. So the, I feel like the obstacle is like taking control and maybe just doing what you want. If you want to end it, then end it. Why the Ten of Swords before we move forward? Why the Ten of Swords? Why the Ten of Swords? So we have the Wheel of Fortune in the reverse. Yeah, like it's just not working out in your favor, okay? I just feel like you're coming to terms with it. I don't know. That keeps coming to me. Just looking at these cards, like it's coming, it's you coming to terms with this is a fail, okay? And it's just like luck is not on your side when it comes to this relationship. Why the five of swords? And why the five of swords? The page of cups. But maybe you are like apologetic about it. Like, I'm sorry, you know, this is just not working. Like there's this very innocent, um, sweet kind of energy. Like maybe, you know, you feel it in your heart. Like maybe you have some, um, it's not like, Oh, it failed that we're going to be at odds. It's like, well, we tried. It's, it feels like you'll 
it feels cordial to me. You know, this doesn't feel like we're going to be like slicing each other up because the relationship is ending. It's like, well, you know what we try. It, it almost feels mutual. Like we may feel the same way. Why the page of cups? I just want to get one more for that. Okay. But there's a nine of swords with the ace of cups. And someone could be worried maybe about finding new love or a new relationship. Like that could be it's like something that's on your mind a lot. But I don't get ill intent here with the page of cups. Like it feels kind of like, well, you know, this is sad, but dang, we, you know, it's almost again, because I feel like you're facing the truth that it's over. It's not working. It's a fail. So what can Leo expect to happen? What is the potential outcome for the month of March regarding the situation? What is the potential outcome here for Leo? Okay, the two of coins. So you have a decision to make, right? And you do, and you may go back and forth in your mind about this decision. Because I feel like it's either keep it stagnant or to get out of it. Why the two of coin? Wow. So you have the six of pentacles, the queen of wands, and then the ten of cups. This is exactly what I was saying. Like, I feel like you have a choice to either give more, keep giving to this relationship, or completely end it. The ten of cups in the reverse is um, like the, the end of your relationship. It's a breakup. Like a broken relationship. So what are you going to do? I feel like this is the decision you are going to be faced with moving forward in the month of March. What's the energy of the two of coins? Oh my God. The king of swords. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, the king of swords is a big decision maker. Okay. He takes control. I feel like this is going to be you. Okay. The page of swords in the reverse. Are you going to keep to yourself? Are you going to give to the situation? What decision are you going to make here, uh, Leo? But let's get your advice. Let's see what you should do. Okay. All right. What advice do you have for Leo regarding the situation? What advice do you have for Leo? Okay. Two cards for Leo. Uh, okay, so, uh, so you have the strength and you have the sun. So the strength card tells me it is time to take control. This has showed up in your reading. It's showing up again as your advice. And I feel like it's time for you to take control and be brave. Um, you know, when I look at this card, I always think of how this person, this lady is around you know, some vicious animals that can be vicious, right? They could eat her up, but she seems so calm around it, very um, tamed, right? Um, I'm also getting like something about not being afraid, you know, like be, be, be brave and trust yourself. Trust what you're able to do because you have the magi magician in the reverse, which means you weren't using your strength or your wisdom or your intelligence to make these decisions. Okay, and the sun obviously um, tells you it's all about positivity. Okay, <clears throat> and like counting your blessings and seeing the good and seeing the sunny side of things, the bright side of things. Where's the silver lining in all of this? Like this doesn't have to be um, a negative when you are moving on from the past. If you're choosing to not work on a relationship like moving on from it doesn't have to be a negative. Like it could literally be um, like, uh, what is it? There's a blessing in everything. I heard Steve Harvey. I just watched a video where, where he said this and he was just saying, there's a blessing in everything, like everything. And we don't see it at the time until we're out of it or moving out of it. And we start to see like, oh, okay, there's a silver lining. There's a light at the end of the tunnel. It's not all bad, okay? It's just trans transitioning, moving into a new place, a new chapter of your life. And, you know, these cards are just telling you to be strong, trust yourself, take control. 
and be positive okay see the bright side of it all right i'm going to leave it there you guys thank you for tuning in i hope this was helpful um so if you find yourself resonating with this video please like it and don't forget to subscribe and i will talk to you guys next time Mwah. deuces